magic, baby. Turn my fucking lights down. I've been asked by one of my students um, through the YouTube.com, the Mac 313, to explain what the game is and how to win in the game, how to conquer the game. The way it works is quite simple. The game is life. You have to have a plan on how you're going to conquer life itself. Either you'll win at life or life will take you down. Not the living, the breathing, the essence of man, but we're talking about life around you. Friends, family, enemies, the job, business, it can consume you. If you don't have a plan on how you're going to conquer every obstacle that you encounter in your life, you will be destroyed by life. So the first part of the game on how to win is having a proper mindset, the proper attitude, the proper relationship with people and things around you. For instance, in the case of finding a good woman or being with a good woman and being the ultimate man to that woman, first you have to look in the mirror. Do you like what you see? If you were a woman, would you want to be with that person that you're looking at? What about you would attract that woman to you? What would set you apart from every other man that's out there? What would make that woman say, oh, my God, look at him. Oh, my God, he smells so good. Wow, look at how he carries himself. Look at his attire. Look at his, his energy. You can feel it from across the room. You have to have that substance. That's something that you develop over time. That's something that you make a part of your reality. When you look in the mirror, if you don't like what you see, you have to do those things to make it correct. Because if you don't like it, believe me, no one else will. You have to love self so that you can give love to other selves, particularly in this case, other women. If you're a man, your focus is on being the best that you can be. Not to try to attract or please a woman, so that, but that so that you can attract and be the best, attract the best to you, the best job, the best career, the best people, the best opportunities. See, the best always draws the best. When you're average, that's all you get. If you have no plan, you have nothing because you're not striving towards anything. You just have a job, you punch in a clock every day or sign it in. You work your eight or ten hours and you go home. You do the same thing every week. And then Friday you celebrate, blow all your money over the weekend, and grind it out the next week. That's no way of living. If you think you're going to become wealthy and not work hard and develop a plan on what you're going to do and what it takes to accomplish it, if you're not going to be looking for a mentor to guide you and teach you, then you've already failed. Only 10% of the population ever become rich. Only a handful of those have realized their financial independence and only three become very wealthy. One of them will become extremely rich. The choice is up to those individuals. What are you willing to do to succeed? And we'll deal with that in part three. Send your email to 313 the Mac. Excuse me, the Mac 313 at yahoo.com and leave your comments on this board. I want to know what you think, what you feel, what you have to say. Because I want to try to help as many of you as possible. Ladies, let your man see this. Let your young men see this. Let your children see this. They need to know what's real out here. If you're going to make it, I know the way. <laughs>